Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be talking about the new Silphorina Cup. I missed the Rose Cup so it feels like I haven't done this in absolutely forever. Uh, but we're going to do our first impression on the Toxic Cup. For those that are not familiar with the Self Arena, check out, check out Self.gg. It's a third party competitive format, super fun theme cup with certain restrictions, played in the Great League. Super fun. If you're into Go Battle League and have not tried out Self Arena, you should definitely check it out and um, stick, in, stick around in this video. I'll walk you through it. Um, so this is on Self.gg. Uh, the, we're gonna go down here teams of six um, show six all that's good stuff played the great league up to 1500 CP uh, toxic type Pokemon so bug poison normal ground and grass um, dual types are allowed uh, so for example like a uh, Heracross is bug fighting uh, so it would be allowed because it's bug typing and then there's there's species bands of Tropius uh, knocked out Vigoroff and uh, dual types with water ground, so basically known as the Mud Boys, so Swampert, uh, Witchcash, Quagsire, um, Marsh Stomp, etc. And then here's a specific list of Pokemon that are added, uh, that are available. So some of them obviously can't be in Great League, like Groudon, for example, but uh, <laughs> and then a Regigigas is too <laughs> as well. But if if ever it does become the case, then uh, then it would be allowed. But let's go ahead and go to PV Poke. Dot com. Everyone should be familiar with this website. If you're not, definitely um, uh, check them out. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at this list. Uh, so we're going to go to rankings, and then we're going to click on Toxic Cup, and this will show the rankings for them. And we see that some of the top Pokemon include Pokemon like Scizor uh, with Bullet Punch, x Scissor, and Iron Head. Pretty interesting. Uh, I want to take a look at that quickly see obviously it's going to be really scared of fire so any of the f uh pokemon with fire fast moves are going to do a lot of damage like camera up uh hippodon uh porygon with st steel hidden fire um steelix would actually do quite well on it just because it resists all the moves that uh the scissors recommended in this move set in this in this um particular set uh worm and trash would uh would also body it because um it's just a lot tankier. Also, um, it resists all the moves, um, and probably just has a better moose. It's probably the the main reason behind it. Uh, Quillfish, uh, and a bunch of other ones, uh, and then a bunch of neutral matchups that we see. So I see like Munchlax, I think, which which should be pretty decent uh, in this cup, considering um, there's only going to be a few fighters, a few critical fighters like Heracross and uh, Toxicroak. But so Scizor, really good against Drapion, really good against Golbat, uh, Gliscor, Crustle, Wigglytuff, um, because of its steel typing and built to hit with steel moves, but it is quite squishy. So uh, Golbat, also pretty squishy as well. Gonna be able to take out um, uh, uh, Pokemon like Fortress, uh, because it's gonna be able to double double resist or single, single resist uh, the Bug Bites. Um, and then as well, or, or double resist, I can't remember. Um, either way, someone someone will, will tell me uh, down in the comment section below. Um, uh, then, interesting, uh, and able to do a lot of damage. Even though Wing Attack is neutral, uh, Poison Fang is double resisted. The Shadow Balls uh, do quite a bit of damage. Let's see if it can still win straight Shadow Ball. Uh, looks like that's going to be the case, so it can win... Out in all shield scenarios, so absolutely walls, um, fortress, and basically you can farm up to quite a bit of energy. Uh, this includes mirror shot. The, if it was rock tomb, obviously uh, it could win out in the zero two shield scenario, or uh, two zero shield scenario for for fortress. So fortress looks like it's going to be uh, quite handy as well. Fortress is ranked at number three uh, as the meta game starts developing. Uh, we're going to see what's going to come out on top. Gligar, uh, Gliscor uh, from Rose Cup are also available. Steelix, always really reliable, really tanky. Going to be able to uh, take a lot of damage. Uh, Crustle's pretty interesting uh, with Fury Cutter, X Scissor, Rock Slide. I um, wonder why not Smackdown. Um, what does Fury Cutter allow you to hit more Rock Slides? But... 
Let's see even this matchup against uh, Fortress. It's actually pretty close. And it actually loses in the two shield. I'm guessing it wins in uh, the one and the two. I know it wins the, okay, it looks like with SmackDown it's not that great. Uh, interesting. Um, Pidgeot with uh, with wing attack, uh, especially since it's knocked out Will's ban. Uh, Pidgeot going to be able to beat out uh, Pokemon like uh, Gliscor and uh, Gligar, uh, Golbat, Fortress, and probably even uh, Scizor. So, yep, going to be able to beat those ones. I'm sure, I'm confident it could beat out Scizor. Yeah, uh, no, it actually loses to Scizor. Interesting. Interesting, really. Just because that iron head damage, and plus it has such terrible moves. Man, these moves are awful. Um, maybe if it didn't have... Hurricane's a pretty good move, but takes quite a bit of energy. Maybe Brave Bird would be better? No. Doesn't allow it to get to Brave Bird. Um, it has... It gets to the Aerial Ace, but then loses the CMP tie. That makes sense. And it doesn't have any better moves. Okay, but it's a very close, close matchup. And also it requires uh, Scizor to land uh, the x Desert Bait while, um, while Pidgeot can go straight, uh, straight Aerial, uh, straight Aerial Ace um, to win that match. So if, if uh, it's not necessarily a switch in, but still an interesting matchup there. Loses hard uh, to to the rock types. Actually loses to Golbat, which I find interesting. Straight man, Pidgeot, you man. <laughs> How do you what? Why why are you losing these these matchups, Pidgeot? I don't understand. Why are you losing the Gol Golbat? Uh, it's a little tankier than Golbat, but. Aerial Ace is so bad, such a bad move. Wow, okay, it gets absolutely demolished. And just straight spams these poison fangs. Um, really? Wow, this is not. Oh, why isn't it fire off? Oh, okay, there seems to be an error here. It should fire off this Aerial Ace. Uh, to at least do some damage and it can potentially fire off the second aerial ace. Oh no, no, um, it lands the poison fang here first. Yeah, it should be a little bit closer than the score implies. Okay, so some weird stuff, but still loses. That's surprising. Um, I guess that shows you how terrible aerial ace is. Ice fang, Drapion, gonna be interesting because uh, it's gonna be able to take out Gliscor, Gligar, gonna be able to take out uh, the flying types. Um, uh, with this, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Wormadam Trash, always a really great Pokemon. Um, this is the first time that I think Wormadam Trash is going to be uh, somewhat meta relevant. Uh, going to be able to beat Scizor, Drapion, Golbat, Toxicrow with that confusion damage. Uh, Quillfish again with confusion damage, but going to lose to Shift Tree. Ooh, interesting, but this is not a given matchup, especially if you run Bug Bite. If you run Bug Bite, then you absolutely dominate Shift Tree. So this is going to be one that you're going to have to figure out what the fast move is. Uh, Confusion makes a lot of sense. Again, great coverage against Golbat, Toxicroak, Quillfish, uh, Drapion, and, and Scizor. Um, but, you know, you can't, can't, be, uh, can't be caught too off guard or else uh, you're going to definitely pay for it. Uh, Toxicroak going to do really great. Uh, Pilot Swine. Pretty good as well. Uh, pretty interesting cup. Alolan Muck. Alolan Muck. Um, gonna be scared of Flygon, which I don't imagine is gonna be too common. People don't really like running Flygon, they're so squishy. Uh, Heracross potential. Uh, Garchomp, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Swellow and Pinsir. Uh, we're gonna do quite well against Scizor, Golbat, Wormadam Trash, B Barrel, and Zangoose. Um, it has some decent matchups, nothing too crazy. Excavalier uh, with that counter damage, gonna be like the counter version of a Wormadam Trash or Fortress. So uh, I could definitely see like a multiple um, 
uh, bug steals uh, being being used in this cup because they they have really great typing um, only weak to fire um, wait is that right yeah only only weak to fire um, and as well oh I guess um, bug steel would also include this uh, uh, um, scissor as well so this is really like a bug bug steel cup um, flygon gonna be super spammy especially with its new move earth power relatively new move um, munchlax or community move I should say uh, munchlax zangoose bee barrel swallow um, gonna be pretty interesting and diverse I don't know necessarily what the best meta game is at this point in time for for the toxic cup but let me know what you think are some good uh, lines of three or teams of six uh, for this cup I'm gonna do some analysis I'm gonna feature a few people that are gonna be able to help you uh, formulate your team uh, for the toxic cup uh, and if you guys want to see more toxic cup videos let me know down in the comment section below and I will see everyone in the next video